Scovido, Scovido, that's what I want to Wait. Whoa, 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 guys. This is not the Scooby Doo intro music. Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Scooby Doo games for the GBA. The first one, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, looks too retro for a GBA, but it's not a port. The graphics were made like this for the GBA, but aside the odd non GBA like graphics, the game is a basic platformer, with jet ski levels in between. The jet ski levels are the usual GBA vehicle levels you usually get, but aside the stereotypical vehicle levels you get on a GBA, the platforming feels a little bit odd for a GBA. That's because it's it makes you feel more like you are playing an um, SNES game than a GBA. So the platforming is not your stereotypical GBA platformer. And this is not a bad thing. The game is relaxing, you can breeze through it easily, you can choose at the beginning of any of the 6 levels in the game with which character you want to play. The whole gang is available. All 5 characters. The ending is kind of stupid, but I'm not spoiling the fun. I let the game ruin it for you. Scooby Doo The Motion Picture is an isometric adventure game. In the first half of the game you roam the hotel for clues, ask people around and get to see the nice graphics, you get to solve some puzzles that even a 3 year old who doesn't know English could solve, and as playable characters you get Scooby and Shaggy which you can switch in between whenever you want. In the second half of the game, you mostly do mindless button mashing to fight enemies in the same hotel. The combat is simple, press B till the enemy is down. For a standalone game, it's an okay game, but considering that it's a tie-in game and tie-ins usually end up badly, the game is actually pretty good. Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem is a basic platformer like the other ones, but this time the game developers knew that we won't laugh at their text jokes, so they added laugh tracks when there is a joke, so that you know that there is one. In the game, you play with Scooby and Shaggy, and each has different abilities, so aside of the platforming, when you do puzzles, you will need to switch between the two, as one can operate some stuff, and the other character can operate other stuff. It's an okay game too. Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed is again a very basic platformer. This time it's really basic. Enemies are few, environments are few, but at least you can play with any character of the gang you want. And the game abides to the classic formula. Platforming levels and then some vehicle levels, either skiing in a trash bin or something of that sort. Also the game has mini games, which adds replayability to the game. Scooby Doo Unmasked is the best out of the games, in my opinion. It's a platformer again, but not a basic one. You play as Scooby, but Scooby has 4 superpowers. You can turn him into some sort of toilet Robin Hood, a Kung Fu Scooby, a superhero Scooby that can glide, and the superpowers make the platforming diverse and fun. Ok, so as a conclusion, try out all of the games. They are basic platformers. If you like platformers and if you like Scooby Doo, then it's a good match. You, you will most probably like the games. They are not something wow or something groundbreaking. They are just platformers. And you can have a lot of fun with them. They are good games, all of them. And I must say that it's a good integration of Scooby Doo on the GBA. And it's nice that. Even if each one of them sticks to the stereotype, mostly pl platforming. However, all of them have something unique and have something that is a good integration of Scooby Doo on the GBA. It, it, it has something, something unique, each one of them, that makes the game, well, more enjoyable. Even if overall, they are kind of dull, especially for the ones who seek only the best games. Well, they are not the best, but they are pretty good. 
they are pretty good. And if you are a fan, then you will probably like them. And if you're not a fan, you will find them average or even dull depending on your preferences. I mean, taste cannot be discussed. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell me the thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.